Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining me, Stitching with Sue here. Well, it's been a it's been a little while. If you're brand new here, thank you so much for joining us. And I'd like to welcome you. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell. Then you'll be notified when I upload new videos. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. So I am working on uh, some machine embroidery projects. Um, this one is um, one I finished uh, the other night. It's, uh, it's by Sweet Pea. It is a, a Halloween block. Um, what are they calling it? A Halloween, not a surprise, but a Halloween, I forget the name. My, my words aren't coming. Um, mystery, Halloween mystery block. So during the month of um, August and September for the next 12 weeks, they're going to be releasing a new block each week and it's centered around Halloween, of course, and it's a house. So block one is this one here. It's kind of, I have it bent so you can see it. It's, um, I did the small one. I did the five by five one and this took, oh, not even an hour, maybe 50 some minutes to do. It's a very intricate, but I thought it came out really cute. But I thought, well, I don't know, that's a little small. So I thought, well, you know, let's go big or go home. So let's do the seven by seven. Well, you can see seven by seven is going to be much bigger. And this one has 33,233 stitches. What? And it's 77 minutes. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be here for the whole entire time. I may cut this video up into two parts, but I have it brought up on my um, laptop so I can go along with it. I think I kind of remember how it goes together, but just want to make sure. So I did order, surprisingly, I ordered some of this Kingstar metallic thread. Now, I've used metallic thread in the past, and I have had such issues, but I am hearing such wonderful things about this thread. Now, I thought it was going to be a big, larger spool for how much it cost, but I realize everything is expensive, but I want to thank all of you, my viewers, for um, watching my videos so then I can save up a little bit of money that I can invest back in. Let me show you what else I bought. What else I bought? These were from Amazon. Now, these I got through Sew for Less, I believe, online. They were probably the cheapest. I bought a whole pack of these. And they may just look like they're regular spools. There's a whole slew of them. Look at this one. That says Halloween, right? So, these are glow-in-the-dark threads. So, yeah. So, um, so... <laughs> I want to give a try to these metallic threads. I'm just not sure yet if I'm going to use them in this project or another one. But um, the glow in the dark, I did use on this one. And I used it on the slime. I used it on the little skull. Uh, and the number 13. So it looks like regular thread. But it's supposed to glow in the dark. And I guess you have to give it a lot of light. I didn't really test it out. I think it's kind of glowing. Can you guys see? Is it kind of glowing? It's kind of hard to show you guys because it's daylight. Uh, I'm trying to like, yeah, it's 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 too hard to show you and how to how for me to figure that out. But um, anyhow, it's glow in the dark thread. It is made by uh, Bro Thread because my machine seems to like Bro Thread. So let's go ahead and get this started. What size am I making? I am doing the biggest size. This is a seven by seven. So can you see the difference? Here's five by five. Here's seven by seven. So this is going to be rather big. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do a couple of them and make them into like a tabletop or something. Maybe I'll only make one seven by seven and make a little pillow thing out of it or something. I don't know because it's kind of big. I didn't realize how big it was going to be but you know me. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I have cutaway stabilizer in the hoop and one layer of batting. And the first step says to put your batting and stitch the batting down. So, ooh, I was hoping that didn't hit the camera. It's pretty close. I don't know if it hit you guys or not. I'm gonna have to probably move you back a little bit. So, uh, hope you all been doing well. Been doing pretty well been a little uh, crazy. 
um, you know, Bob is still hanging in there. Bob has not gone to the shop. And um, I don't even want to say, but things have been going pretty good with Bob. And if you don't know who Bob is, this is, this is Bob. Bob is my embroidery machine. And um, he has been doing well. Research and install the latest window updates. Uh, no, thank you. Snooze that. Okay, so batting one, stitch the batting, remove from the hoop, trim the batting. About one to two millimeters from the stitching. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Now this is where it's going to become tricky because I got to work around the camera. And I'm not really liking, I got these new scissors, I'm not really liking them. I still like my old ones. So, I think these are my old ones. I have them kind of mixed up. Yeah, but see, they're not cutting too well. I ordered new ones, and I don't know, I'm just not liking them. Where's my trash can? Alright, so I'm going to trim around this. I wonder if my applique ones will work any better. These are definitely sharper. And I know I'm using them the wrong way. So you're using them the wrong way. I know. Once I get all this cutting out of the way, then we should be, we should be better. It'll just be a lot of thread changes because there are a lot of thread changes with this this one and if I bump you I'm sorry but trying to cut my goodness how am I going to do this cut around let me just move you guys I'll adjust a tad bit while I try to cut around you guys oh my gosh this should not be so hard okay it isn't it's just working around the camera okay let me put that back in the hoop. Let me resituate you guys. All right. There we go. Okay, so I did that. Uh, place fabric right side up. So um, I went through my stash. I did not buy any new fabric. Oh, I have. I lied. I did buy through Etsy. There was um, a store on there that was selling scraps. So I ordered two sets of scraps from her. And they're just little pieces. But you know what? If you do applique... You don't really need a whole yard of fabric. Okay, so um, place this down, and I'm going to go ahead and stitch that down. So you don't need like a whole yard, you know. So these are small pieces. So when you're doing applique, sorry about my hand in the way, just trying to make sure it's nice and flat. When you're doing applique, um, you know, you don't need big, humongous yardage of fabric. You just need lots of little pieces of fabric, right? All right, let this go all the way to the end and then I can readjust the camera so that it's not going to hit. I think the camera is just a tad tall enough that it won't get hit. Okay, um, so it's going to do that. It's going to do a second one. Trim the fabric one to two millimeters from the stitching from the center square. You know what? I did that last time and I trimmed it. And I don't know. I wasn't really happy with it. Maybe. Just maybe. I'm just going to leave it. Right? There's Dory. Hi, Dory. Maybe I'm just going to leave it. Right? What do you think, Dory? Should we just leave it? Dory says we should leave it. Okay, so now this is this is the one here where we want to put a piece of another fabric. Um, changing the fabric of the stitching. Am I, no, I'm not trimming that. Oh, I'm going to put down the next fabric. Okay, so now I need a piece of fabric for here. And I have not decided my fabric choices. So we are what, in the world of sewing, calling winging it. <laughs> winging it, winging it. 
I'm just going through my stash that I have here and I need a larger piece, larger piece. Oh, I have this one. I don't know. That's kind of, no, that's like two. I do have this, this purple. You know what? Let's go with the purple. So let me fit that on there. Purple polka dots, right? Why not? Right? I love purple. And where, who are my purple gals out there? All right, let's, oh, what am I doing? Hit the wrong thing. Ugh, see, I'm so excited to do this. This huge, large one. So I believe after this, then I'm gonna trim that. But I'm just leaving that one underneath. You know, like why not, right? Got a little, I didn't iron anything. I'm just kind of digging onto the box here of fabric. And I know you're missing part of it, but the reason you're missing part of it is because this hoop is so big. So big. Sorry, I'm just readjusting. So then I am uh, gonna trim. So once we get all these applique pieces out of the way, then um, it should be less painful for you guys to have to deal with me. I'm gonna use those. Where's those applique ones I just used? put them over there. All right. So I hope you're all doing well. Today's Saturday. What's today's date? Saturday, uh, August 20th, 2022. So if you want to be a part of this um, fun stitch along, uh, it's from Sweet Pea. I'm not sure if I rem if I mentioned that. I do have um, an affiliate link with Sweet Pea. I will, hopefully I will remember, and put all that down below in the description box. And um, I do make a little bit, a few pennies, if you decide to use my affiliate link. I would much appreciate that, because the pennies add up. All right, I'm putting that back in my bin with my scraps, and I'm seeing right about here, I can use a little bit more trimming. All right. Well, that's gonna have to be good for that. Okay. All right. So definitely, I would recommend if you download this, um, you definitely want to um, go and either print off, but I, I don't print off. I just have the instructions um, on my, either my iPad or my laptop, whatever it is I'm working with at the time. So now this is gonna, I don't know, I guess it's gonna stitch it down. Okay. All right, so next we're gonna be putting columns up. We're gonna be doing outline for columns now. For columns, what do I want to use? digging through my stash. <laughs> and I do want to say that that Etsy shop where I got these um, pieces is kind of fab. Okay, so now this is going to, we're going to stitch some columns while I'm going through my stash, the placement where the columns are going to be. I don't know. Um, now by the time you watch this, I would have been laying in my mind already. I wish y'all were here to help me. That fabric was bigger. Going through those scraps that I bought off the Etsy shop. They're all different. Some of them are a little bit larger than others. Some are a little bit smaller. Okay, so that's purple. So I want something that's kind of gonna stand out. No, I had this one, but this this is only a tiny small piece. You see, that's like metallic-y. Now, I do have this green. What do you think? Is that the right side? Well, here's the right side. Let's do the green, right? My dog is snoring. So, it's going to stitch. I'm going to need two pieces of this. Just going to trim. So, let me 
move you over a little bit. Sorry. All right, so this is gonna be column one, and then this one will be column two. Hold that down a little bit. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, let's stitch our columns down. We're going to column one and column two, and then we're going to trim around. So, uh, let's see, what's all been going on? Uh, I know it's been a little bit. So, let's see. Um, last weekend, my grandsons were here for a visit. We had a great time. We played almost every single board game I have, and I do have a lot of them because when I used to watch them a lot more in the past, every time they were coming, I would get another one or two board games because they love playing games. And um, I love it too, because normally I don't have anyone to play board games with. So when they come, um, I like to uh, play along as well. So we had a good time with that. Okay, now I have to trim these out. So we had fun with that. Um, let's see, we went to, uh, there's a park nearby here called Kirby Park, and it's just basically a, let's stand up and do this, just basically, um, an outdoor park, there's a little pond, and, uh, I took them over there, we went for a nice long walk, I told them to run their hearts out, <laughs> which the little guy did he ran he ran and ran and ran and ran and i said go ahead run 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 because you know what i was thinking that's gonna tire him out well you know kids just don't get tired like we do as adults and uh after we came home from that uh we we made tacos and played some games and um, they were tired that night. We pretty much were in bed pretty much every night by like 10 o'clock. The one, the one night, um, my one grand said, I kept falling asleep on the chair. And he said, he woke me up. He goes, Grandma, you, you think you, you want to go to bed? And I was like, oh, yeah, 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 let's go to bed. <laughs> but um, so that we did that on Friday. Uh, Saturday, we played a lot of games. Um, we went out to, there's a local farm here that they uh, have all kind of animals. And they, they have cows. They make their own ice cream. So it's kind of like a staple. Can I cut the fabric on that? No, I didn't. <laughs> kind of like a staple that we go to that. And um, we went to that. All right, let me see what's next. Okay, so now it's gonna do some stitching. So let's see. Um, we could use some of that glow in a dark thread. What do y'all think? Let's do some of that, because it's gonna stitch the pillars. How about we do this, this crazy one? Let's do that. Um, so we got ice cream, and um, we did a lot of sitting on the porch. The next day we went for a long walk down near the river. And uh, before you knew it, like our time together was was over. So, but we did have a good time. And can I tell you, like I was like exhausted, really tired. And I I met with their mother to uh, give them back Sunday about like four o'clock. We we met. And uh, so when I came home, I pretty much, you know had to prepare for the work week and uh, I was thinking about it and I thought gosh what was I thinking I should have taken Monday off from work right but um but I didn't I went to work Monday so uh work was kind of kind of busy uh this week all the doctors were back you know at work and uh I'm not extremely busy though but uh busy enough because it's vacation time so <clears throat> excuse me a lot of places Excuse me, let me get a drink. So enough to keep me busy. 
busy. But um, I was supposed to, um, back with the dating thing, there was another guy that I was talking to. And he had um, messaged me the other day and said, you know, he wanted to take me to lunch. And I said, well, you know, I work during the day. And he said, well, he does too. So I thought, well, how are you supposed to take me to lunch? <laughs> but anyhow, whatever, I should have known. But... So then um, I said to him, well, how about if we meet like Monday at Kirby Park? Kirby Park seems to be, you know, the place for me to go. I guess. So he said, okay, he said, uh, you know, he'll meet me there at five o'clock. Okay, great. So the weekend went by and a couple message here, there. Sunday, I didn't hear nothing from him. So Monday, um, it's about an hour before leaving work and I'm like, well, you know, I didn't hear from him. So I wonder, are we still meeting? Are we not? So he, uh, I, t I messaged him and I said, you know, are we still on? So this was about 3.30. And I messaged and said, are we still on for five o'clock? Well, he sent a thumbs up, you know, the little, you know, where you at? can't see you there. Thumbs up, you know. So I'm like, okay, well, about a quarter to four when I'm about getting ready to, to leave for work, he messaged and he says, oh, the other guy at work, he didn't show up. I have to stay. I have to work. So I'm like, oh, so I came home. And I'm like, well, let me open that up and just, you know, let him know that I got the message. And his whole profile was gone. I mean, gone. Just not there anymore. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, what? <sighs> I'll tell you. I just don't get it. But you know what? Um, one of the girls at work, her girlfriend, who is much younger than I am, She's been on different sites. She's been on the Facebook dating app, which is kind of what I've been using lately. And she said, you know what? It's the same thing. It's the same thing for her age. So it's not that these are like older guys that are just doing this. Um, she said she's experiencing the same exact thing. So I was bummed out again. I was bummed out. Oh my gosh. I'm like, are you kidding me? What is going on? So, you know, since then, I, I haven't really gotten any messages from anybody. I keep looking and, you know, um, my daughter's messaging me. Um, I keep looking and I'm just like, yeah, well, I'm just going to put that on the back burner. So uh, I'm just, I'm just going about my life being happy the way I am and if something were to come up it comes up if not it doesn't so uh, so let's see the rest of the week um, there were some things at work that happened that really irritated me how some people well I work with women except the doctors and can I just say some people are just I probably shouldn't even go into it but it's just you know like you you always want to feel like you fit in and you're a part of the group but I always feel like I'm left out from the group because I work in a different part of the office than the main people in the office and a big thing that I should have known about was I was not told about so I was very annoyed by that and um, very annoyed I was even annoyed, well, okay, we won't even, we won't even go. So then uh, Friday comes and I really didn't have anything for lunch. So I'm like, I'm just going to take peanut butter and jelly. And I always take my lunch. Most of them there, they all order out. Well, you know what? I just don't have money to order out all the time. And if I have food in my house, why would I want to order out? You know, I'm able to bring something. I'm going to turn you a little tad. You know, it'd be different if I didn't have anything. Like, you know, I didn't have really anything. So I took peanut butter and jelly. And um, the, one of my coworkers happened to say something about, oh yeah, well, she's not taking a lunch because she has to go to a doctor's visit. And um, she ordered, you know, ordered out from them. And I went, from who? She said, well, the other girls, they were ordering out. I said, oh. I said, well, where did they order from? So she said, where? And I was like, she goes, oh yeah. She goes, well, you were downstairs. Didn't they say anything to you? And I said, uh, no. She goes, oh, well, they asked me. And I said, no, you probably don't want to order out. 
like I almost wanted to say, well, thanks for making that decision for me. So I was annoyed by that. I'm like, you know, like I, I'm not even like thought about. I don't know why, but I just stewed about that for the rest of the day because I thought bad enough, the big thing that happened, I wasn't included on. And then I look like, you know, you know what I look like because when my boss asked me about it and I was like, I didn't know nothing about it. And she's like, oh, they didn't tell you? <clears throat> yeah, no. So I'm just very annoyed, very annoyed. And that was how that went. So anyhow, um, that's pretty much how my week was, just feeling like I was left out of things. And I mean, we are not a huge con conglomerate office. We're a very, very small office. And things just shouldn't be like that. And I mean, I always want to include everybody in everything. Anything time I hear anything or whatever, something that, you know, should be important and shared, I share. But I don't know. I just don't know. So I'm hoping by the time I go back Monday, and I kept like praying like, please Holy Spirit, please help me. Help me deal, help me get through this. Don't say anything, because sometimes, you know, I feel like I'm best to not say nothing. Although I feel like I should say something. And I know you're probably all gonna comment, you should have said something, but I didn't. Because you know what, I'm just like, you know, sometimes it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. I'm better off just stewing and doing my work and not even paying attention. Oh, so it's, it's stitching some what looks like kind of cracks in the columns. So while um, doing that, it should be looking for pieces of the top of all of them. Well, I think it's like a column. It's a red one. Regardless, I think I'm going to go with like a gray top of all of them. Lots of gray. much other stuff's been really going on. I did stitch this out the other night um, just because I, I need it. You know sometimes if you just let things go and just go and, and do things that you enjoy which is of course crafting, stitching. So that was the reason why I stitched out the block one. Now they came out with block two and I, um, I bought it and you have to buy them every week. That's kind of like the one downfall. You have to buy them each, each week, but whatever. And um, that's where your, your following and your comments and your sharing of my videos comes into play because I use that money that I make off of um, Google AdSense to um, incorporate back into my little embroidery business. But um, the second one is really cool. It's like a monster behind the shower curtain. And I'm gonna do that one next. And I did, um, it comes in four by four. So those of you that have four by four, don't think you can't do this. I believe it's four by four, five by five, six by six, and seven by seven. I believe it's four by four. Let me scroll up to the top here while I have it open. I don't wanna tell you wrong. Yes, the, block, the blocks do come in four by four. So those of you with the four by four hoops, you can do this. You can make these. You can absolutely make these. So don't feel left out. Don't feel like I do at work being left out. You are all included in this. So anyhow, so these are the columns. And let's see. Okay, so next we're going to do, um, I'm going to remove this thread. See, it stitches really nice with the glow-in-the-dark thread. Stitches with that very nicely. And um, I'm going to, let me see. I'm going to put the fabric down. But first it's going to do the stitch out. So I think, 
I'm just going to use the white thread. It's going to do placement stitch for the top columns. And when I was stitching this, I had enough fabric. So I thought, oh, there must be bottom columns, but there's not. There's no bottom to the columns. They're just tops to the columns. Does that make sense? Okay, so it's going to do a placement line where it's going to show you where to place your fabric. So if you download this and you're stitching along with me, thanks so much. Hope you have fun. It's all about having fun with embroidery. And you all know how I love fun. So this week, did you all watch the dime presentation on Facebook Thursday? Oh my goodness, did you see those new um, pads that they have out for your embroidery hoops? Yeah, I'm gonna have to save up some money for those. Although, sorry my dog, she heard me move my um, thing here. Okay, so I have small pieces, I'm gonna go with that. So um, they are little pads that fit your hoops. So you can um, you can press with them. You can you know go to trim out with them and do all that kind of stuff. I thought that they were really cool, but I just can't justify spending. Now I did consider just buying one, but then I thought, well, which one would I get? The five by seven? Probably the five by seven because I do a lot of that. But if I'm going to use something like that, I probably would want like the six by ten. So I, I'm, I'm right now not getting any of them, but I, I heard um, that they were all sold out in the packets, but I believe if you wanted single ones, you can still get them. But um, she anticipates that they'll be back in stock in about, oop, what am I cutting here? In about two weeks. I was cutting that too. <gasps> so let me stand up to do this. So yeah. But I, I think they're a great idea. And if you missed it, go back and watch it. I have a, a link on my um, Facebook page, Stitching with Sue. So some of you have been asking me, do you, do you have a Facebook page? And I do, Stitching with Sue. And I would love to see what you guys are working on. You can feel free to uh, post your projects on there. And if you're going to post a project, though... Um, if you think about it, if you can uh, post where it is you got the design from, I think that would be most helpful because I know myself, sorry, I'm trying to work around. I know myself that um, I like when people post different projects that they made, but um, I hate being that person that's like, where's the design from? Where is it from? You know, so that would just alleviate all that frustration from, you know, people wanting to know so if you make a design well if you stitch a design and you want to post it on there feel free the facebook page is stitching with sue and i think i moved you guys a little bit there stitching with sue and um come on by and join the group we'll send you out a nice huge welcome to the group and uh we'd love to hear from you okay so next, it's going to do the top piece. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go with um, this gray color. So, yeah. I think these are fun. I am not a big Halloween person, but this kind of got me in the mode for Halloween. So even on my um, Facebook Live this week, I even did little... Kind of Halloween projects, but um, I'm not a big Halloween person. I'm not, you know, that I'm not that crazy person that, you know, has their house. I mean, I put up a couple tchotchkes around, but not huge. Where you know, there's all kind of human skeletons and all kind of coffins and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I like the cutesy Halloween. I like the colors of Halloween. Um, I'm just not into the whole. Um, you know, spooky, bloody kind of Halloween. I like cutesy and I like the oranges, the blacks, the purples, the greens. I like all those colors, but um, that's what I like about Halloween. So we're like only 16 minutes into this. And like I said, this is 77 minutes. So I don't know if you guys want to hang out with me for the whole time. You know, I'm sure I won't have a problem talking the whole time. But if you're stitching along with me, 
you know, I definitely want you to be able to uh, participate in that. So, okay, so let's see. Um, next it's gonna do, there's two little lanterns on either side. It has like a, a candle. So it has sponsors, the candle, the flame, the metal sections, and the outside. So that's what's gonna be next. So we could pretty much hang out together, you know, until we get down to the wire. And then once it's gonna do the stitching all around and all that, y'all don't have to um, stay and watch that. Or, you know, if this is boring for you, you can go ahead and just fast forward. So this says charcoal, and this is gonna go um, on the top. I'm just gonna leave the gray in there. Just gonna do the bottom part of the pillars. So I'm just gonna leave that gray color in. Let me get my sample one I already did. Okay, so next it's going to do um, candles. Clear blue. I'm not really sure what color that is. That's what comes up on my screen. So I have this this kind of blue. It looks darker on the screen, but it is more like a little bit of a light blue. I think I'm going to use that for my candle. I used that before. And then um, the flame. We need a color for the flame. Now, when I did the steps on this one, I don't know. Do you guys like the steps? You see, it's variegated. I used the variegated thread on there. I think I'm going to do that again because I really liked it. It kind of made it look like bricks, you know? Kind of like really cool. So I thought it was cool. I'm going to have to pick out a fabric for my door. Fabric for the door. going to do um we're going to start on the sconces There's some threads there so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use that um light color blue that'll be my candle it's it's almost like a white but kind of not and my trash bag is over there my other one is over here i have a little sewn one that i made I'm use that because i'm like all my threads are going all over the floor and usually if i bring up George, who is my little faux Roomba, he's not a real Roomba, he's, you know, an Amazon brand. Um, he kind of gets involved with the thread, he gets all wrapped around them, and yeah, he, I don't think he's happy about that, but whatever. So, I do need to run my sweeper up here, so maybe I'll just, when I'm all done, I'll just bring up the big sweeper. Use a sweeping, a good sweeping, not just a George sweeping. The candles are real little, but once you put the sconces around them, then they'll show up more. See, they kind of don't really show up. Maybe I should have done like black candles. No, because I'm going to do the sconces in black. I know, I'm just talking out loud. <laughs> I apologize for that. I'm like, you know. So let me tell you, I got, um, next is going to be the, be the candle light. I got a summons for um, jury duty. I know I had been it's been a few years since I've been. I think I'm gonna do this bright yellowy orange. And um, 
yeah, it's, it's all different in Pennsylvania now. You have to do fill out a thing online. You have so many days to do it. So I was putting it off, putting it off. And I'm like, I think I'm like at the last day. I probably should like do that. So I went online to do it. And it has a whole bunch of questions. Some of them, which are us kind of like annoyed by because they're like, uh, your children, what age are they? What do they do for a living? If you're married, what does your spouse do? What does this do? What does that do? Oh my gosh, it was like I felt like I was on trial with all these questions. So then there were a few other ones about um, um, something to the effect of um, a police officer. Do you believe if a police officer testifies that what he says is true? Well, like, no, I don't. Um, I came from uh, a marriage from <laughs> a husband at the time that cheated and, uh, you know, bad enough. He cheated, but he cheated with someone I knew cheated. So, uh, let's see. This is going to be top and bottom. Uh, I'm going to go with this dark gray color. Well, that looks like blue. Let's go with... That well, looks like that, that too. Um, yeah, let's just go with this one. I can't see anything else I'd want to go with. Oh, maybe this. I'll go with this. So, um, yeah, no, I don't, I don't believe, I don't believe what anybody says. That's probably what half my problem is, is my lack of trust because the person that my ex cheated on was someone I knew and, um, well, we won't go into all that, but, um, I don't trust anybody and, um, you know, they, they had a cut like quite a few questions. So, um, they had areas for comments, you know, and, you know, if you have anything that would affect your ability to, to be on a jury. Well, yeah, you know, I, I have issues sitting for a long time. I have diabetes. I have asthma. Um, I also have trouble sometimes focusing on things and I'm like, you know, I'm not embarrassed to say that. So I did. I said I have trouble, you know, focusing and remembering things. I mean, you hear me here. I struggle over things. So I want to say within 15 minutes, I got an email back. Yes, you're excused from jury duty. Oh, so I wonder what it was. <laughs> was it maybe where I worked? You know, because a lot of times I work in the medical field. A lot of times the different cases are medical related. Um, the last time I was called for jury duty, it was against the hospital that I used to work for. So I don't really know which question it was or combination, um, you know, that I was not selected to even have to answer if I had to, had to show up. I'm excused. Thank you. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I love the whole legal system. I think it's amazing. Um, how, uh, although I, I, a lot of times I think the legal system is like a total waste of time, total waste of money, you know, but who am I to say? Who am I to say? Okay, so next we're gonna do our uh, sponsors. I'm gonna do them in black. But anyhow, I don't have to report for jury duty in September. So yay me. So I went to my boss because um, before that, a few times she got me out of it. This was like years ago when you used to be able to get out of it because, you know, the job you did and I'm the only one that does it. And, you know, it would be a hardship for them, for me not to be there. You know, that whole thing, like I'm so VIP. Um, but uh, so I went to her and I said, hey, guess what? I forgot to tell you. I said, I got myself out of jury duty and she looked at me and she goes you did how did you do that i go well i guess they didn't like my answers <laughs> she was laughing she goes oh well that's good to know good to know so <laughs> so anyhow yeah that's how that went but um, oh look how cute that is you guys loving this can you see it i think you can see it i'm hoping you can see it there's a whole reason me doing this so you can see look how cute oh that's so cute so cute all right, after this is going to be the door, which I picked out that crazy orange. It kind of looks like it has, um, I don't know what kind of print it says, cotton screen prints, style 528. It kind of looks like um, it has like dripping on it. See that? So it's kind of like spooky. I don't know if it'll fit that way. We'll have to see. Look at the cute sponsors. Ah! 
I like the orange, the greens, the blacks, and purples. Didn't I just get done telling you that? And look at that's the color of this door. This is so fun. One of the wonderful things I love about embroidery is the whole thing of it coming together. You know, you start off with the fabric, and you add another fabric, and you add another one, you do some applique, you do some embroidery, you do some applique. And then it's just amazing to me what it all ends up to be. And this is a huge block. This will make like a real huge um, quilt if I decide to continue with the seven by seven size. Oh, so another thing, um, uh, of course I watch other YouTube channels. I watch other embroidery channels, uh, stamping channels, unboxings. I watch a lot of court cases, you know, as they're live or recorded. And um, I just want to say that there's a, a channel that uh, I watch religiously and I have purchased her designs as well. And can I just say I'm a little irritated because again, it's with that feeling left out because I would comment because maybe I joined and it was late and it's a live, you know, so, so they're doing it live. And I would comment and say, oh, well, what size hoop are you using? And no one answers. Oh, and I would be like, you know, okay, maybe they didn't see my comment. I ask it again, what size hoop? Nobody responds. I keep asking different questions. I keep stating things. No one responds to my posts. Like, what? You know, I could see missing one, but I mean, all the other people in there are all chatting amongst themselves, so they're reading everybody else's comments. I almost feel like, am I invisible? Am I blocked from that channel? I don't know. I, I just, you know, oops, I heard a little something there. Did you hear that little skip? I'm going to go ahead and check. Because you know what happened the other day when I was stitching this and it went to do um, around the outside uh, satin stitch, uh, the white bobbin thread was coming up through. So um, I'm kind of glad I noticed that. Let me just take this off. Let me just check. See how my bobbin, yeah, my bobbin looks good. Okay. All right. Okay, so now it's going to be for the door. I'm going to go ahead and just put white back in because this is just going to be a placement. Although I can do orange. I can do orange. Let me, let me, let me, let me see. Let me see. Look at that. This is not really like an orange, orange though. Um, This one is though. I think that one. Not that it has the matchy matchy, you know, but anyhow. So yeah, you know, I'm starting to get a complex thinking that people aren't seeing me. People, I don't, am I not making a statement that, you know, hello, I'm alive and I'm here and I'm asking a question. Can you just not be so rude and ignore me? <laughs> you know, I don't know. Does that happen to you guys? happen to you guys i hope i answer all of your questions and i don't miss although i don't do lives as far as here on youtube i should i should do a live it's just like doing a live on facebook right mm, i'm looking at my piece of fabric and i'm wondering if it's going to be tall enough to cover i think this might oh no this isn't the last applique i was going to say let me cut out this bottom salvage thing so it's a it's um another extremely warm weekend here in pa we had quite a um change in temperature from we went like near 100 degrees last week we had like a cool down which was wonderful yes yeah i don't think i'm gonna no i'm not gonna fit it that way maybe i will do like this this of this uh, so it'll kind of get some of that spooky look in there and now, um, this weekend, yesterday, it kind of got a little warm. And, uh, I'm just going to go in here because you see I should have, like, ironed that. Oops, 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 oops. Let me just flatten it out, flatten it out. There's going to be some stitching inside there. Okay, so then after that, then I have to do more trimming. Trim around me door. More applique. 
but um, do, 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 do. okay. Let's throw that away. All right, let me try to bring this down a tad weeny bit. This is where I okay. Well, I just got to move you guys for uno momento por favor. I can't get down in that corner. I'm gonna have to go back. So these are actually duck bill scissors. If you've never seen them before, I have to get out of here to get these trims. And um, they're supposed to help you so that you don't like actually inadvertently cut into your fabric, but I'm using them the wrong way. I'm supposed to use them the other way. But I have to get my own scissors because I can't get close enough with those. These are the crappy ones. Oh, this struggle. The struggle is real, folks. And because this is such a big hoop, <laughs> whose choice was this? Let me take it right up to my face so I can turn it about. Now, those scissors aren't cutting. Man, I'll tell you. I tried to sharpen those other scissors. Remember that one video if you watched and I I said about sharpening scissors and somebody commented and said, oh yeah, you can sharpen scissors. Well, he did. I don't know. Maybe I don't know how to sharpen scissors, but I don't really think that it helped. So I ordered a new pair, which is, you know, the uh, these, but I'm not really liking them because I like the other ones better. I know. Okay, I'm going to leave the orange in there. <sighs> okay. And it's going to stitch around and then it's going to stitch inside the door. Some a couple little lines. And at the top of here is going to be like a, a window. So I'm going to have to see what I want to use for that. Maybe I can use some vinyl. Ooh, some vinyl. What do y'all think of that? Where's my vinyl bucket? Let me see. I may have some, uh, I have some blue jean fabric here. I should have used for something on the door. Let me go through my bin of vinyl scraps. I'm sure I have some silver something that would resemble a window. Some glitter. Oh, here's some glitter. would be fun. It's not silver, it's like, oops, off white. So let me dig, dig to the bottom. Some star glitter. You only need a small little piece. I'm so excited. 
So a friend of mine, I was doing my Facebook Live the other night, and I was kind of like, I get excited when I do them too. And I was kind of almost like singing, and I stopped myself because um, one of the other demonstrators, she was talking about, she got put in Facebook jail because she kind of was singing a few little tunes, and Facebook put her in jail because she was humming a few lines of some sort of song. And I was like, are you kidding me? Wow, things have changed, folks. Things have changed. So I'm into drinking these and never liked them. The flavored seltzer water, like LaCroix, Bubbly, all those, I'm really loving them because you know what? They don't have no sugar. They don't have no calories. They don't have no nothing in them because it's just flavored seltzer water. And I'm on my second to the last one, which I really do have to go to the store because I'm running out of stuff. I need more fruits and vegetables. And I'm telling you, can I just say, you know, you try to eat healthy. How expensive it is to eat healthy. Who's out there with me that can relate to that? It's so much cheaper to eat bad stuff, you know? Because I went to the store uh, before the boys came. Oops, oh, I'm sorry. Whoops, now I really goofed it up. I really lifted this down. Let me lift you back up. And um, I didn't even buy like a whole, I didn't think I bought like a whole lot. Oh my gosh, when I went to check out, I couldn't believe when she told me how much it was. And I thought, you know, I don't even really have much here. But of course, little boys can eat a lot. So they pretty much ate almost everything I bought. But, um, you know, they did eat, you know, a lot of fruit. I had a lot of fruit. I had a watermelon that we ate, the whole watermelon. We ate two packs of strawberries. We ate a whole bag of grapes. You know, plus all the other food that they ate, you know. But um, bagels, they liked bagels. Um, the tacos we had the one night, they liked those. And I let them make their own taco. So of course, by the end, we were in, we ended up with no taco shells and a, and a little bit of meat and a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but no taco shells. <laughs> They, they, um, I think they had a good time. And it's fun to have them here. You know, it breaks up my dull drums every day, you know, life. And um, I enjoy having them here. Except the little guy, he's getting kind of big for the little toddler bed. So I've been looking at different um, things. I have one twin bed in their room and I have a toddler bed. So I was thinking like bunk beds, but you know, some of them are awfully high. And I mean, my ceilings aren't low, but I'm just nervous about that. And um, just then I thought well, maybe I'll get another twin bed, but then it's kind of going to be tight in the room with two twin beds because the room isn't very big. So then I was looking at something and up pop a trun trundle, trumble, trum what is it called? Trundle, trundle bed. And I was like, oh, what is that? And it's kind of like a bed and then underneath, is like another bed that pulls out. And I was like, oh, well that's interesting. So I messaged my daughter yesterday. I said, oh, I said, I think I may have found a solution, a trundle bed. She goes, uh, yeah, I told you about that. And I'm thinking, I don't remember her telling me about that. Although, you know, that, that happens, you know, my memory. And I said, you did? And she said, yeah. She goes, I just didn't know what it was called. So I was like, oh, okay then. That, then that makes sense. But yeah, have you any, and you all know about that? The bed underneath that kind of pulls out and they have ones that are actually look like a bed and then they have ones that kind of look like a little couch. I think it's fun. Okay, so now um, it's showing um, a stitch line going across. So when you see something like that, that means you're going to be putting a piece of fabric folded and then pull back. And only because I've already done this, I already know that. So, um, just looking to see, I had used this green fabric and I thought it was fun, but just looking what my options are, because like I told you, I could use another polka dot. Like I have this green polka dot. Or I have, this is the one I used before, this green. I think I'm just going to stick with that because I, I think, because I don't want to do too many polka dots just digging through to see my other options because I have all of these scraps that I bought they're fun very very 
be very fun. I wonder if this piece will be big enough. Let me see. Oh, I have this one. This is kind of like a polka dot, but it's kind of fun. No, I think that's too much polka dot. <laughs> I know, you're like, okay, just make up your mind. Okay, so it's going to stitch there. So I know this is like an odd shaped piece. but um, So I'm going to... I think that's enough. The stitches there. Okay. Well, if not, we could always pull the stitches out. It's no big deal. I was looking to see, did I thread the needle? I did. Okay, so it's going to stitch across. I, mean, I think I'm going to trim a little bit of that. Go back to where it's supposed to be. Okay. Get the scissors. Because really, if, if it comes down, well, I can actually just leave it. Who cares, right? So then this is where that little pad thing would come in handy because you could put that little pad underneath the hoop and you can use your iron and iron that down. I'm just going to kind of finger press that down. And then this is going to stitch to hold that piece of fabric down. And then I believe you, uh, you, come on, you, can, yeah, you trim that then. So it's kind of like grass, right? So then um, let me trim this. So we are at 30 minutes of stitching so far. If anybody's out there counting, 30 minutes. Ugh, these are the crappy scissors. have trouble cutting without knocking the camera over. Okay. All right, there we go. So then it's going to stitch um, two small areas of what was supposed to be like two little grassy things. And last time I did green, but you know, I don't want to do green. Um, I want to do like a brownish color, like it's, you know, dried up grass. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to do this one. This is kind of like a goldy color. This will be good. Oops, got to take my thread out. Okay. I have all these threads lined up from all my stitching projects. So can you believe like this coming week is going to be the last week in um, August? It's going to be September. Labor Day weekend's coming. That's when I have that shower with that girl at work that I made all that poo stuff for that I'm kind of mad at now. Annoyed. More, not mad. More like annoyed. You know, because she makes decisions for me that, no, I'm not going to order lunch. She didn't really ask me. She told them no. You know what I mean? Anyhow, but it is a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. The sun is shining and it is quite warm. Last time I checked, it was in the high 80s. So I had already, I was up early today, my normal 5.30. I had already had the windows open this morning. And as soon as I started feeling it was getting a little bit warm out, I right away closed it up and I put the air on for a little bit downstairs and then um, turned it off. And I have it going up here in... Uh, I have a unit in my bedroom, which kind of cools my upstairs with a little help of a fan. Okay, so now we're going to do um, in between the steps. So it's not the actual steps, it's the pieces in between the steps. So let me look at my sample. Where's my sample and what I did? Okay, so I did like a dark gray. So I think I'm gonna, I think of the steps, I'm still gonna do that variegated. So I think I'm going to, no, I don't want that. Once I put it under the light, then it looks different. I think I'm going to do this. This will be going, I guess, 
you know, the in-between parts of the step. I don't know if it's considered the mortar or, or what. But I'm going to do this because the steps are going to take off. Well, that didn't. What the heck happened there? There we go. The steps, I'm going to do that variegated color again. And the this takes five five minutes and the steps themselves because the steps steps themselves are not applique they're actually stitched out and they take 12 minutes but there's still a lot of details to um to do and we're about halfway through so i don't know if you guys want to stick it out with me or if you're going to put me on pause and go have lunch and come back later. <laughs> I guess you could do that. Or you could just fast forward. But FYI, if you fast forward, I'm just saying, you may miss something. <laughs> you may miss something. So I'm trying to decide for the window. If for the window I want to use this shiny, kind of opalescent or for the window, I want to use this shiny black, which is kind of, let me try to see if I can kind of rub it on the table. I'm going to flatten it out a little bit. I haven't decided yet which one I want to use. I'm, I'm almost thinking that white opalescent looking one. I'm kind of thinking it looks like the white shiny from inside, although the black would be fun. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to see what's going to fit. So that would be a good time to get back here. Okay, so after the, the steps, which is going to take a while. So then after the steps, it's going to be like the little window thing at the top of the door. Then I have to decide what color. I think the color for the number 13, I think I'm gonna use a purple. I see a real dark purple from where I'm sitting above on my thread rack. I'm trying to flatten out this piece. I'd be afraid to put an iron to it. Let me grab that purple while I'm looking at it. And I'm hoping the other threads above it that kind of hanging out there. Don't fall again. I have a thread rack on the wall here. But you know, it doesn't nearly hold as much thread as I require. I have a whole bunch of thread along the side of the machine. I think that purple number 13 on the door would be really fun, fun, fun. Okay, so there's three of these and then the steps. So what have you all been working on? Let me know. I would love to know down below in the comments. And um, I'd love to know what you're working on and where you got the design. And... Uh, you know, let me know what size hoops do you like to work with? Or does your machine only take a certain size hoop? I know a lot of you that are watching only have a four by four hoop and you know, you're a little limited in what you can do, but there's so many of these designs you can do in a four by four and it, it's fine. Oops, I'm sorry, I just hit y'all. It's fine to do in a four by four. It's just all the little details are a little smaller and you use less products because of that. It's getting kind of like dark outside now. I wonder if it's going to rain today. I don't remember hearing rain. The clouds are kind of rolling and it's getting a little overcast. So, so yeah, let me know. Let me know what you're working with. It's funny, you know, because a couple people reached out to me and they're like, oh yeah, I know Pocono so back. There's one woman that she said, you know, it's hours away from her, but she goes to them. There's one that I just found right here in northeastern Pennsylvania. She's like a neighbor to me. 
And I just, I messaged her and I said, wouldn't it be fun if we, you know, got together and met up? And she said, yeah, she goes, that, that sounds like fun. So who knows? You just never know where you're going to meet people that have things that you have in common, you know, right in your neighborhood and you never even knew it, right? How many people are like hiding in their houses and, and embroidering like secretively? I'm certainly not secretive in my embroidery, but. So I do have the upcoming craft show. That's going to be in September. And I kind of haven't even really been working toward too many more things. Um, oh, there we go. Now we're into the steps. So I'm going to use the variegated thread on the steps. So I did those couple little Halloween tchotchkes and um, the little lollipop holders. And I only did a couple of those ghost treat things. I don't know. I think from what I already have, I think I have more than enough. And I wanted to do more like elf clothes and that. But then I thought, you know what? I have so many other things I want to do that I should be. Why am I not hitting this thing right? There we go. I should just take what I have. And if I sell all that, that would be fabulous. So it's at the uh, Wilkesburg Township Fire Hall. Any of you that are in the area and... If you need to find out more, I can post that on my Facebook page. It's September 17th, 2022, when the craft show is. So I'm using this brownish variegated thread only because I loved it on my little sample. So I'm going to love it even more on my big one. And um, it almost, the way it stitches out and the way that the thread is stitching makes it look like blocks. You know, like... Um, like, you know, bricks, bricks. But this one's going to be a long one. This one's going to be 12 minutes. So I think I'm going to stop the video here and um, I'm going to restart up another one because I'm already into this over an hour. My goodness, over an hour. And um, I think I will pick it up once the, um, the steps are done and then we can go ahead and finish up because I'm at almost 16,000 and we have to go to 33 so there's quite a lot more to go so I'm going to end here but be sure to come back to watch part two which will start with the top of the door the window and you'll get to see how the blocks all stitched out for my bricks for my side for my steps all right so be sure to come back thanks for watching See you later. Bye.